I'm Associate Professor Alexey Glushenkov, and we are at Battery Materials and Energy Storage Laboratory. This laboratory is a part of Research School of Chemistry and Battery Storage and Grid Integration Program. Welcome in. This piece of equipment is our argon glove box. We use it for battery fabrication. Here we can fabricate lithium ion batteries, sodium ion batteries, potassium ion batteries, and also hybrid energy storage devices, hybrid capacitors. Here we test our batteries. Inside of this refrigerated incubator, you can see batteries in the form of coin cells and also swage lock cells under test. And the test is being conducted by our equipment over here. And we control all experiments from these computers in front where we can set up all experiments and also monitor the progress of them. And now I will introduce you to PhD student Mega Jacob, who will guide you through the rest of equipment in this room. This is furnaces that we use for heating our substances like the electrodes and the electrolyte, like solid electrolyte materials that we synthesize. We can set the required temperature, time and all using the program. And then we have this gas flows, like if you want to have a inert atmosphere or some oxygen atmosphere. So depending on that, you can actually have gas valves that you can connect and you can set the time and temperature and heat your substances so that they form the phases. Here, what we're having is an electrode coater. So this is something that we use for coating of our cathodes and anode materials on the current collectors. These three, they are ovens that we can use vacuum oven ovens. So you can just uh, keep it in vacuum and use it for heating or preserving your electrodes or any other materials that you actually synthesize or your glassware. Here we are having the ball mills that is basically used for synthesis purpose, mostly when you want to uh, synthesize some materials and bring, uh, bring the size down. The next one that I'm going to show are these fume hoods that we have here and we need to have all these safety uh, glasses or lab cords when you work in these fume hoods. So here basically a fume hood can actually suck out all the uh, gases that we are working with or the solvents that are the harmful poisonous ones. Here we have the final one which is a two port glove box uh, in regard to the previous one was a four port glove box and this is two port because it has two hands. This one is for the materials mostly so all the electrode materials and anything related to the materials, the synthesis part or such things we actually do it inside this glove. So it was really great showing you around our lab. So this is one of the uh, best labs you can do have with all the facilities that's needed for battery research. And we do have some of the best instruments possible. So it was really great taking you through this lab and thank you for coming.